In the exhilarating world of automobiles, one name stands out, the most, Richard Rawlings. Fans know Rawlings as the mastermind behind Gas Monkey Garage, who burst onto the scene, transforming his automotive dreams into a reality that would leave a lasting impact. Through the hit TV show Fast and Loud, Rawlings showcased his brilliance, captivating audiences with his taste for classic cars. But behind the scenes, Rawlings has been involved in several controversies, which we'll be looking at in today's video. So stick around and watch this one until the end. Richard Rawlings is one of the most popular and wealthy American businessmen. He has amassed an automotive kingdom that includes the automotive repair and customization shop Gas Monkey Garage. Besides, he also owns restaurants, a bar and even an energy drink. He is, however, best also known for starring in the Discovery Channel's hit reality series Fast and Loud, which aired from 2012 to 2020. Today, Rawlings has amassed an impressive net worth estimated to be worth $30 million. The Texas native has always been interested in cars since an early age, thanks to his dad, who would take him to various auto shows. Richard bought his first car, a green 74 Mercury Comet, when he was only 14. By the time he hit his senior year in high school, he was already on his third car, a 77 Bandit Trans Am. Richard says that he's always worked just so that he could have cars. Cars were his passion, and he could never get enough of them. Richard has been married several times. He married Karen K. Grames in 1993. They, however, divorced the following year. Then, in 1999, he married his second wife, Suzanne, in Las Vegas, Nevada. This relationship didn't last long either, and the couple divorced in 2009. They would remarry in 2015, but ended up divorcing four years later. While his relationships didn't last, Richard Rawlings had found success as a businessman and TV personality. His company, Gas Monkey Garage, is involved in customizing classic and hot rod automobiles. After receiving business success with his garage, Richard was able to convince Discovery Channel to feature the activities of his garage as a show. Fast and Loud ended up being one of the most popular reality TV shows on the network, airing for eight years. While Richard has achieved business and TV success, he's always been a controversial figure. His controversial decision to fire his top mechanics on the show has generated furious debates among fans. For those who don't know, Rawlings fired Tom Smith and Jordan Butler on Fast and Loud over a small disagreement. He, however, reinstated them in the Fast and Loud spin-off show Misfit Garage, which aired for two years. Both parties would later come out and clarify that the sack was a stunt pulled by Richard on the fans of the show. This tactic by Richard might seem far-fetched, but it actually helped to boost the popularity of Misfit Garage. In 2018, the Dallas restaurant and music venue Gas Monkey Bar & Grill ended up suing Rawlings for defamation and fraud to get out of his contract. The lawsuit was filed by the restaurant on behalf of the bar and restaurant manager, Danielle Flaherty. The lawsuit demanded $6 million from Rawlings' Fast and Loud and Gas Monkey Holdings. Rawlings' attorney, Austin Champion, dismissed the lawsuit claims, saying that it does not have merit. He claimed that Gas Monkey Bar made a fabricated claim in a last-ditch effort to get back their licenses. It might seem like the problems end there, but there's more to this story than meets the eye. The lawsuit claims that problems with Richard Rawlings began long before the bar opened for business. A bar employee by the name of Tim Hinkhouse revealed in an email that Rawlings mistreated construction workers and called him disruptive. The lawsuit further claimed that to prevent Rawlings from interrupting construction work, Flaherty banned him from the construction site so the job could be completed. The problems with Rawlings didn't end there. The lawsuit states that after the bar opened for business in 2013, Rawlings would interfere with operations and even try to take control of the venue from Flaherty. Rawlings didn't stop there and made defamatory statements about Flaherty and the bar to other people claiming that Flaherty was stealing from him. The suit further claims that a third-party buyer was about to finalize a deal to obtain the rights to Gas Monkey Bar and Grill and Gas Monkey Live in 2017. Rawlings, however, accused Flaherty and the bar of dishonesty and stealing his money, which caused the disagreement to fall through. Following the drama and final season of Fast and Loud, Richard Rawlings appeared on the Joe Rogan Experience in December 2020 and opened up about his future plans. Rawlings shocked fans by stating that he exited Discovery Channel and that the show has ended for good. Rawlings is currently active on the Gas Monkey Garage and Richard Rawlings' YouTube channel, where he uploads daily and has over a million subscribers. There you have it guys, what are your thoughts on Richard Rawlings? Do you think the lawsuit is responsible for the death of Fast and Loud? Do you want the show to return? Let us know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next one.